Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And I basically just want to talk to you guys about like what happened in 2019, um, like accomplishments, things I could have did better, and I also want to talk about 2020 and what I do plan to do, as well as just getting some information from y'all on which I would like to see moving forward with this channel. So I have a couple of notes, I'm just going to go over some things, but uh, the first thing I do want to say is thank you to everyone that has stuck out with me. You know, ever since the beginning, beginning, you know, 2000, what, 10, 2011, and then just, you know, all, you know, previous years, especially 2019. Um, 2019 has been the largest growth I've had on this channel. I think we got around like 6,000 uh, new subscribers, um, views, and everything else has been just amazing. Almost everything has been doubled uh, from 2018. So, with that, uh, 2020, I, you know, in theory, if I keep on a good trend, 2020 should be really good. Um, 2020 should be like a definitive year. I mean, we got really good kits coming out, but there's a lot of road bumps um, or speed bumps, I should say. And uh, hopefully, you know, you guys can understand, you know, what I'm going to be going through whenever I do explain it in the video. Okay, so some things to reflect on in 2019. Um, early in the year, it was really slow. Like, if you look back on like the January videos, the February videos. There really wasn't too much coming out. I made a couple of good videos, but for the most part, Gunpla was really slow, and you can kind of see that for this year as well. January is kind of like more of a recovery month, I would say, for Bandai. You generally don't see a lot of top tier kits. There's some good kits coming out this uh, this month, but nothing I'm like really looking forward to. The May kit, I, I definitely want it, but I'm not going to be here, uh, so that kind of sucks. But you know, last year I would just say. Um, you know, January, February was fairly slow. Now moving on to March. March 2019, oh my god, that was, a, that was a fantastic month. So the first thing is that was the birth of my first son, Hero. Um, I was so happy, I was so anxious, stressed, sleepless. Everything happened in that month with, uh, you know, with the birth of my son and I, I didn't want to, you know, make the easy excuse like, oh, I have a child, all right, no more videos. I did take a few days break, um, but I got right, like, right back into it um, whenever uh, the Dynamis came out, so I was like, all right, hey, the MG Dynamis is out, I want to get that. And not only did the MG Dynamis came out, but uh, I think the day before going to get the MG Dynamis, I got into a car accident, <laughs> uh, so I was like... It was, it was car accident, child, and dynamis, all in like, I think less than a week time frame. It was, it was pretty stressful. Um, so I was really, I don't know, I had a lot of emotions and I was just rushing because I was like, I really want to get the MG Dynamis to, you know, build it because I really like that suit. I really like, like, uh, I like Lock On as a character. And that video was one of my best videos of the year, if not of the channel. Um, just had, it, it was the first, video I made to get to um, 1,000 likes. That was amazing. Um, I I, re I never thought in a million years I would hit a 1,000 uh, a likes. So uh, definitely thank you to everyone that came out and supported my videos. Um, it was also just like one of, one of my best, you know, um, received videos. Um, I, I did put a lot of work into it. There was a lot of new tactics when it came to like the, the posability and everything of like, you know, the style for my reviews. Um, I put a lot of work into that one. Um, it's obviously not the best thing you've seen on YouTube, but I, I think I don't, this is how I feel, I don't want to just put all my eggs in one basket and just make like the best videos constant, you know, day after day, because I know for a fact I'm going to get burnt out and my creativity is probably going to like tap out. So I'm, I'm doing everything in small steps, small increments. That's why I have the seasons, um, so that way I can reflect on the past seasons and like, okay, hey, this is what I did for these, you know, six months. This is what I did for these six months, and try to incorporate it into the uh, the future ones. Then come April, I went and uh, I died, <laughs> essentially. Um, you know, Steve killed me off, and uh, Steve took over the channel for about two months, and that was not well received. Uh, I did. I, I seen a lot of people in support of it. They really liked what I did. Um, I, I try to do something different. I really, really did. Um, just for the fact that I was going to be gone, and if I was the same person, same character, making the videos in Okinawa in a, in a less than, you know, quality setting without pretty much any of my gear, except for, like, my camera, um, I, I really just felt that the overall quality and, and things would 
just die off. I was like, if I just make a shift and have Steve run the channel, that kind of gives me the excuse. But yeah, people didn't like him, and uh, I do understand. So you know, I, I'm I'm considering that whenever I'm moving forward with uh, other other projects. So during that time that Steve took over, really bad in you know just overall retention, uh, watch time, everything went pretty much downhill. But I was still you know I'm, I wasn't making that like the uh, yay or nay if I'm making videos. I was still making videos, uh, but there's a lot more negativity else coming to my channel, a hell of a lot more uh, dislikes. And um, in retrospect, I mean, looking back, it's the dislikes don't make any difference. To be honest, even looking forward. Dislikes don't make any difference whatsoever on our channel. Um, the only thing it could possibly do, if you see a bunch of dislikes, um, maybe some people are gonna get influenced. Like, oh man, there's like a bunch of dislikes on this video. This video is probably trash. So instead of watching the video, I'm just gonna automatically dislike to follow the trend and, and getting that dislike counter even further. But um, you know, I think even with that case, I'll never, I'll never get to that point. Um, I think people really understand where I come from when it comes to my reviews. I, I definitely don't want to just like, you know, say, hey man, like this kit is 100% amazing and everything's fantastic. Go to this place and buy it. Y'all yeah, know I'm not like that. Um, I buy what I want. I, I'm, I'm rarely influenced by like trends. Uh, the only thing I ever saw that um, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy it, even though I don't want the kit, was uh, Samrock. I honestly did not, I didn't want Samrock to be honest. Uh, but I bought it because I wanted the code for the GBGW game, um, and that was about it. It still turned out to be a great kit, I just don't like the design. Now what also happened in February is I actually got sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. Uh, at the time it was Gundam Labs, and then they, you know, kind of rebranded, but it's been amazing working with them. Uh, they give me 100% creator creativity. You know, I can do whatever I want. Essentially, you know, we have our you know uh, agreement to what we you know what I need to do on the channel. So you know, give them a shout out. And I'm I'm very earnest whenever I talk about new, new type HQ. I I shop with them. Um, I don't buy everything because obviously buying something at retail over at their shop in California, if I was just walking down the street to go get it from a shop. It's counterproductive, but there's a lot of times that they have things that I, I would ha actually have to go way out of my way to a different store in like Hiroshima, Fukuoka, or even Tokyo to get. Even some P Bandai I can't always get. Um, technically I can get it now, but you know, sometimes I don't want to use the P, uh, P Bandai shop. I'll just shop with them. Um, but regardless, uh, I, I shop with them all the time and they have amazing prices, great customer service. I generally don't have any issues uh, with them, and I'm really hoping that moving forward, I can I can continue with my relationship with them because it has been nothing but amazing. Um, and I, <laughs> there was a time where I was like always like you know sending emails out to different uh, you know companies like, hey, um, I definitely would like to work with you. I like your your you know shop, and um, a lot of, a lot of companies turned me down and or they just didn't respond at all. I'm like, okay, like, hey, it's, it's fine. You know, maybe in another year I'll come back. Um, but they they actually reached out to me, and I thought that was so, like, just fantastic. Um, I, I was like choked up. I was like, oh my god, like they actually reached out to me, and you know, it kind of just told me that, hey, just keep doing work, keep putting your honest effort into everything you do. Things are gonna things are gonna turn around, and that's that's really all I can ask for. All right, so quickly, just moving forward, um, you know, the summertime and the fall and everything. Um, that was that was some pretty rocky months. Um, I think my channel really picked up in August and September, um, especially when two things happened. The real great new Gundam came out. That 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 video, the real great new review, is probably one of my best uh, reviews. I think it even topped uh, my Dynamis review, which was it's, it's amazing. It hasn't hit a hundred thousand. Oh, it hasn't hit uh, a thousand likes yet. But honestly, just the uh, the amount of support I had on that video is amazing. Um, but also, when Gun Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare uh, came out, I was really excited for that game, and you know, I was like, "Hey, I'm jumping on it." And I was making content, I think, almost like daily. It was like every single day. I was just I was putting a video out, even sometimes two to three videos a day, and I'm just like, I was super hyped. But also during that time, that's when uh, Bill Divers Re Rise was coming out, and I really wasn't feeling anything from that series. So I was like, you know what? I really just I'm enjoying this app, and I really want to keep on uh, working on it. 
had a, a huge growth. I, I think in one month, in uh, I think it was in September, had um, you know 1,500 subscribers join. And I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. So uh, I know I kind of let a lot of people down by not continuing that series. I do it every once in a while, but um, trust me, I'm going to get back into making it. But I, I have these kind of moments where I, I really want to do something. Plus, I don't want to just like ignore like all this, um, you know, the models and stuff to promote New Type HQ because I, I need to promote them. Um, but I trust me, I, I play Gun and Battle Gunpowder Warfare every day. I still absolutely love the game. Um, I just don't have the complete motivation to make videos but I still want to. So it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but eventually I will start making videos once again. Okay, and that's leading us all the way up to November um, and December time frame. So November in particular, um, I wasn't really feeling too good mentally. Um, I really was feeling just drained from work, from life, from everything. Uh, and I really was not making videos. I think there's a couple of times I, I think I took like maybe a two week break. Um, I wasn't making any content and all the the momentum I had from like August, September, uh, even a little bit in October, it just went downhill um, like mid October because I went on vacation for about uh, 10 days. And yeah, everything just went downhill, downhill. And I acknowledged it, but I just kind of didn't, I'm not gonna say I didn't care, but I wasn't adamant enough to really jump on and be like, hey, I, I gotta make videos. You know, I, I just started playing Pokemon again. The new Pokemon games came out and I'm a really, I'm, I'm a pretty big Pokemon junkie. And I just wanted to play Pokemon, man. Um, I stopped making videos, I stopped building. So it was like, the only time I ever built was when I'd ma I was making videos. If I wasn't making videos, there was no, there was no kits being built. And I accumulated an even bigger backlog at this point because I was still buying crap I don't need. Um, but you know, I kind of got over it in uh, like mid, I think mid December. I felt a lot better. Um, but going back to November, I went to uh, BuildCon. That was a huge accomplishment, uh, just because like I'd never been invited to a con before. It's usually me just going. So the folks over at New Type, Henry, and everyone, like super massive thank you uh, for bringing me out there. I was that perked me up um, and, and got me motivated to build again. Seeing so many amazing builds, meeting new friends, new faces, um, interacting with people I've only met online. That was fantastic. So uh, really excited for that. And um, I really hope I can do more of that in the future. That's kind of like my whole goal for 2020 is just to do amazing, some stuff old, some stuff new. Okay, so that leads us all the way up to 2020. So. Um, there's a lot of new things I want to implement on this channel and I just wrote a couple of them down So one thing I do have is questions of the, questions of the day I want to start putting that in the uh, description down below not the description while wow, the comment section So I'll leave like a little comment of the day. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it if I want to just like Just leave it at that like hey as a question of the day y'all can answer it and that's it. Um, or if I want to do the question today in the comment section below, you answer, and then I can screenshot your comments, and I can answer. I can like post your, you know, the screenshot of your username and comment on the the next video, like an unboxing or review, and I can like you know answer them. You know, so if you if you well if you answer them, I'll just kind of like critique it or something like that, or I'll just showcase all the answers, um, and then just kind of make little little comments. That's something I really want to do. The question of the day is going to happen. I just don't know if I want to post your answers in the next video or if there's like a separate video, like a monthly, you know, one or something. Uh, I'll figure that one out though. It's still in the works. Um, members end screen. So you've already seen it. Uh, it's really bad to be honest because it was kind of like it was made really quickly. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try and like look up some um, resources, like some software I can use. Maybe just get Photoshop because I don't have Photoshop. Maybe get Photoshop and actually do a proper end title screen for all the members. Um, this this year is going to be the year for the members. Um, I, I'm kind of like looking back on what I propose to my members whenever you sign up. I'm gonna probably I'm, I'm definitely gonna fine tune some things, but I'm gonna deliver on those promises as, as much as I can. I have to. I absolutely have to. Um, I, I'm not the kind of person that, that you know makes false promises. Um, I, I shouldn't be the person that does that. So I definitely want to um, you know fulfill all the obligations I had 
for my members of the channel and uh, just do better by your side. And of course I would like to continue on different segments, so um, the reviews and the unboxings, I'm, I'm kind of looking at those right now, I haven't made a big decision if I want to completely cut unboxings out and then include that into the review. If I do that, these reviews are going to be super long and I'm, I'm like, a lot of times I can do the unboxing, and I can do, I can ask like questions or I can, you know, kind of give ideas and thoughts about what my uh, build process is going to be in the unboxing. So right now I'm, I'm going to keep unboxings and re uh, reviews completely separate. I think that's fine. But in the future I'm, I'm going to like keep evaluating if I should just like either eliminate the unboxing portion or if I should include it into the actual review. Don't know yet, but that's uh, that's in my mind. The, uh, we built the city segment, so I have my, my little city diorama over there for the review. I do want to continue that because uh, I did buy some new stuff. I haven't opened it yet, but eventually I would like to do another video segment and I kind of show you like what I'm doing with it. So, you know, what, like what items am I buying? Where am I buying these items from? Where you can buy these items from? Um, but I think that's I think that's a, a okay thing to do. Um, I, some people enjoyed the first one, so naturally I'd like to continue it. So for equipment, I would actually like to get better lighting. The lighting I have right now is extremely poor because the overhead light in this room is extremely bad. And I have two umbrella lights. For the most part, they they work pretty good. But I think um, you know I can definitely get something better. They're, they're fine for what they are, but like this one in particular is like super dim because the light's starting to burn out. But, um, you know, even when I have like fully, you know, refreshed light bulbs in there, it's really not that great. I have another light up over there and I have like two lamps and over here. I'm like, even with all these lights going on, this place still seems super dark. So uh, I'm going to look at getting some different lighting and maybe have some lights installed at the top instead of like stuff that's like on the floor. Um, maybe that can work, so we'll definitely see. So another thing I would like to do is 4K overviews. It's much like Zach Aurelius's videos uh, where he does like the overview and it's like a minute and a half or something like that or two minutes of the kit doing a 360. I pretty much want to I want to steal the idea. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. Um, but I want to make it in 4K. I, I want to just see if anyone's going to be interested in 4K. So obviously I'm not doing an entire video in 4K that's like... That's a lot of gigs. It's like 35 or 38 gigs, probably minimum, for a normal review. But if I do like a short, you know, minute and a half, two minute overview, which is like a 360 in different poses, maybe some people will enjoy that. I'm not too sure, but uh, I was like, you know what? I can definitely try that out and uh, see see how it's received. So that's pretty much it for the immediate 2020. I don't have any like major plans, uh, but there's also a big thing that's going to be coming up. So I am going to be going to Fort Lee, Virginia. Um, I'm going to be going there on January 26th. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like, what day am I going? Um, so January 26th, I'll actually be over in Fort Lee. Um, I'll be in a hotel, so that's a good thing. I'll have a rental car, which is amazing. But, um, you know, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be in Japan. So with that, I'm what I'm, what I'm considering. I I do have a backdrop. I can bring that with me. All right, uh, bring that, and then I'm going to probably try and pack as many Gundam kits as possible, or just you know model kits in general, because I really don't want to buy any model kits while I'm out there. I'll be gone for you know the end of January. I'll be gone for February, and then the first half of March. There's a lot of good kits that are coming out in this time frame. I, I think I'm missing the window for the um, the Master Grade uh, Full Armor Double Zeta. And I think I'm missing out on maybe the Real Grade Evangelion uh, with Ava 1 unit. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, but I'll be back on March 16th. So if you want to like jot notes down or whatever, <laughs> uh, or keep, you know, keep it on your calendars. But the quality from pretty much when I leave till March 16th is probably not going to be that great. Um, I don't know if I'm really going to do reviews while I'm out there because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to backlog a bunch of videos here and then I'm just going to upload sporadically like some, you know, reviews of kits. Probably a lot of retro reviews, um, you know, the re reprise uh, series that I, I promised to do and I only did one video so I'm definitely going to do more of those in 2020. Try, my goal is to do one a month. That's like a, a ideal time frame. It's like, hey, just do one a month. If it, if you know people like it, if it picks up traction, I'll do more. 
Uh, but yeah, right now I do want to do the reprise and I have a bunch of kits in the backlog I want to paint. I really want to get into painting. This year, uh, I want to paint a lot more than I did 2019 because I think in 2019 I painted maybe two kits, I think. <laughs> I think I painted two kits in, in total. So that's like, that's pretty damn horrible. Um, so hopefully 2020 can be the year I actually do a lot more painting and I can actually work on my skill set. That's, that's kind of important to me because I don't want to be just a straight builder, no offense to anyone, but I don't want to be just that straight builder that reviews model kits and that's it. I want to be someone that's like, you know, Otaku Builder, It's a Gumpla, Zach, um, Tim. Like these guys are doing amazing things and I'm like, I can do amazing things too. So I am going to do my best to work on my craft and showcase a lot of my painted builds. Do my best with giving y'all tutorials, but once again, I'm learning as well. So we'll see, um, but man, that's pretty much all for my notes. Um, I wanted to make this video probably like two days ago, but you know, I got caught up with some stuff. Uh, was super tired, the family's over. I got a, I got a full house right now. Um, but I do have a lot of videos. I got a lot of stuff I'm working on. I got kits on the desk right now I'm working on. So hopefully before I actually leave, uh, I'm actually leaving on the 17th to go back to the States, but before then I have you know two more weekends or one more weekend, I should say. So hopefully I can get uh, maybe a couple more kits done in the meanwhile, and then get those uh, out to you guys. But hey, thanks for watching. Um, you know, this video is a little bit long, it's a little dry, but if you stuck with me, definitely thank you. And uh, sorry for the, the lower tone voice, my kids next door, and I have like, I guess a super deep voice, and it carries through the walls. But um, hey, thank you all for sticking with me for 2019, and all the way back in the old days, and uh, hopefully, Y'all stay with me to uh, 2020 and see this channel grow even more. But that's all from me, guys. I'll be seeing y'all later. Bye-bye.